hey guys welcome back to another video uh, so this video is gonna be obviously you know about what that minecraft fps boosting and i got many comments and messages on my discord that many people are facing fps issues with minecraft even after having a good pc obviously the ones with bad pc do have a problem but even with good pcs they were getting a limited amount of fps so today i'm going to show you how you can get more fps but before that i'm going to show you my fps in game with vsync off and with vsync on as well as you can see right now i have nearly 100 plus fps when vsync is off and let me turn on vsync uh okay so vsync is on and now let's see it's around 60 right because of vsync the frame rate is locked so this is the frame rate that i'm getting and we will see the difference in the frame rate after we optimize the game let's see okay so uh, basically we are gonna do something that is general first and then we will apply some mods and some specific settings for the game so first of all what you need to do is just go to the search bar and type power and sleep settings go to additional power settings and here if you have balance make sure to set it to high performance obviously this AMD Ryzen high performance is because of my CPU but obviously if you do not have AMD Ryzen it doesn't really matter you can choose ultimate performance if you have or high performance you prefer uh, whichever suits you best because high performance and ultimate performance isn't really a problem for the PC users but for laptop users it may cause overheating so yeah set it to high once it is done just close the power settings now hit windows and R key and type percent temp percent and you will see a lot of files here as you can see 124 items you just hit ctrl a to select all and then press shift delete this is gonna delete all the files in here and do not worry no data will be lost because all these files are just temporary files that are created when you do something but are useless afterwards and they just eat up space and they are literally just junk okay now hit windows r again and this time type prefetch hit continue and control a shift delete and skip the files that cannot be deleted okay so i uh, just right click this pc go to properties mm, uh, go to advanced system settings under performance just click settings and in here by default it is let windows choose what's best for your computer so just select adjust for best performance this will change the looks of your windows a bit but doesn't really matter just hit apply go to advanced and under virtual memory just click change by default this box is checked automatically manage paging file size so if you are gonna install minecraft i mean if you have installed minecraft in d drive then select d or if you have it in c then click c and click custom size and you can put here around 4 GBs or 8 GBs I guess because this acts as some sort of virtual memory but 8 GB is I guess enough you should keep it between 4 and 8 GB because more than 8 GB is useless and the more size you put in the more size will be eaten in your disk because the amount of value you are gonna put here will eat some disk space as well so uh, let's open up the calculator so 1024 MB is 1 GB if you want 4 GB is just multiply it by 4 and that's 4096 so you can put here 4096 4096 click set and ok I'm not gonna do that because I don't really need to because I have enough virtual memory video memory and yeah my RAM is good so uh, yeah but I did this in my older PC so you, yeah you can do it it's not gonna destroy your PC or something because in my older videos you can see I have done this many times but right now I do not have a bad PC so uh, not a problem once you click set it will prompt you to restart so that you have to do it uh, now uh, just hit ok as you can see the windows looks a bit different now because of the setting we just changed hit ok and I almost got 60 fps when vsync was on and turning it off gave me around 100 fps 
But in case you have a good PC, or even if not, and you are getting very low FPS, no need to worry, just go to your web browser and type Sodium mod for Minecraft. So this is Sodium Mods and scroll down until you see the download button or something. Uh, where is it? Wait a second. Let's go. Yes, uh, here it is. Uh, so, as you can see, okay, one thing is there's a process that you can see how much FPS you're gonna, uh, you gonna get. Fine, from the company, you're gonna get 255 increase in frame rate, okay. Uh, okay, so let's download this one. I guess uh, yeah let's download this 0.4.2 okay so it's downloaded now just right click your minecraft launcher go to file location and open mods folder now go to downloads and just drag it here in the mods folder now let's open minecraft Okay, uh, okay, let's play single player. Okay, so, uh, we are in the game talking about the FPS obviously it's like 58 FPS right now so just go to options and video settings turn off vsync and graphics you can obviously just turn them down max frame rate you can see it's capped so unlimited render distance you can obviously just listen this I don't know, I don't really play this game. Those smooth lighting are maximum, you can just turn it off. And clouds fancy, nope. You can turn them off if you want. Particles, decreased or minimal would be better. Entity shadows, you can turn them off. Full screen, I'm gonna turn this on. And okay, this that's better. Now auto save indicator, FOV. FOV can affect the game, but I'm gonna keep it 100. It's done. Now, uh, I guess okay that's 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 normal I guess I don't know so let's get back to the game this time our FPS as you can see it was nearly 100 FPS last time and after this sodium mod it's nearly 170 once you play the game the frame rate might vary a bit because oh you can you just saw right 300 FPS or something because as you move terrains will change and that's gonna affect the frame rate so uh, yeah, it's not going to be stagnant, but obviously it's going to be above 180 as you can see. Sometimes it may reach 300 or something. So yeah. Okay, so uh, that was it for today's video. I hope this video helps and if it does, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Obviously, if you want more Minecraft content, then just comment down below and I will make more videos on Minecraft optimization. And thanks for watching. See you soon.